Hey guys, Noise here with another daily recap. It's Friday. Pretty eventful, I would say. As you can look at the watch list, there's a lot of more than 20% gappers. So I'll say the market today is pretty happening. Like, probably the best day in August, I would say. However, I'm only up like $100 plus. So I did a lot of trades. I did 35 trades and only up a dollar plus because the market still is pretty choppy and I mean at least there's more volatility however however around earlier it wasn't that much as you can see today I traded until almost 2 usually I will walk away around 10 and yesterday I walk away around 9 30 so today is is me staying in the market for a long long time I was expecting some huge lunchtime move or something but it didn't so I'll just go through the trades and so firstly SPRT did not touch it at all. Uh sure then yeah. So it was super choppy in the open. It was up like crazy. Uh, I think it was up <clears throat> maybe hundred eighty percent during the pre market. Then in the open, uh it hotter down as expect expected. Hotted up then chop a little hot that down again so it's really really choppy and as it's starting to curl i don't know consolidate this area for some reason it pop up then after that it just had a trend line down so after you broke that trend line added here so i sold the first pop because i know it can be pretty choppy however it grind 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 and as it crossed this level added here same thing so for the pop however this turns out to be the move it was around 12 30 seems like this was the lunchtime move uh, way up 14 dollar but i only took like just a small profit around three bucks so other than that after um couldn't hit 60 a lot of people was anticipating it to hit 60 didn't so this now trend line was really strong as you can see on a five minute is based on these two points so I move this over you can see it's based on these two points so I would say this downtrend line is pretty strong so I added here this seems like a little wedge up so same thing so the first pop and that was all my trade for SPRT pretty come to think of it it was all wins then second leading gap was NURO uh, to no trace pre market today, if I'm not wrong. So, same thing uh, after it hotted up, I added here, uh, hopefully to ride the momentum up. However, it took a deep burst, then cause the float is still this is like a 50 cent loss already. So, I got stop out here thinking it could knife down because today before 10 30, I would say it's pretty choppy. So, I played safe, got shake out here, and it went up. So on this pullback I added here, so on the first pop, same thing. Pretty nice, make me break even I guess. So did not touch it. It's just a really, really grindy day as you can see. So grindy. It's pretty much not much, I would say it's kind of hard to trade. So I added here for it to break. Uh, I added here thinking it could be an ABC there I think. So I held through this, pull back. Then when it's gonna go here. For some reason, it is a fake out, and I got stop out here. So that was my last trade, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this was one fifty three. So other than that, BBIG. Well, as you can see, yeah, I took a lot of trades today. BBIG, I would say, is the yeah the leading gapper and pretty nice move. And now M M D, I don't know how to pronounce it, tweets out saying there's no more shots to short. So around four sixty, it went up to nine four ninety. Mm, as you can see it's pretty choppy like you couldn't look at it in hindsight if let's say you just look at this this is very very choppy like the red candles are of higher volume so I wasn't a believer of it and as you broke here then came down I added here thinking this could be a small grind so I added to the grind however same thing so the first pop then leave the rest to play but thinking this could be a flash because it came down pretty fast so I got out here just to whatever just to stay green 
then same thing seems like a small pattern like a uh, lightning bolt abcd whatever you call it same thing added here pop pop so however this was the bigger move but as you can see all these are really really slow grind it's a really really slow grind day but pretty eventful not your typical momentum trading day like usually the moves and hole will be much shorter so added on this fullback so the first pop is pretty surprising like seems like all of these trades has been green so far maybe just on red trade but i'm only up like 100 to 200 today uh and then i think i trade once yeah okay so this curling i'm thinking this could be the curl of the wap and a pop to clear pre-market high and maybe attain the new half day so either here have a deep pressure so immediately i sold out thinking it could be a false breakout which turns out to be and same thing slow grind for some reason one trial it did went up so yeah not wasn't watching that jmb just a slow grind whole day as you can see is today basically all of the stocks are like sgoc kind of stocks so it's basically a slow grind every day it's really really hard to trade like let's say you got in here for the break of new high 959 then it's trying for and here when you broke the new high it's consolidating here so basically there's nothing much you can do uh trying to break again consolidate again trying to break again so basically you're just stuck here stuck here back holding and you think this is the pop pop nope consider it again so maybe you just it's really really hard and unless you're trading like those wall street bets those your low apes so you could take a bigger part of the money but if let's say you're trading for the momentum that is volatility but not much the same goes for volume i mean momentum so yeah then for some reason when the volume is dying off as you can see the volume is dying off but then it will go up mmat same thing slow grind as you can see it's a slow grind this candle you can see each candle the difference this candle is not even 10 cent it's the high and low so yeah did not trade this as you will see same thing slow grind i trade it once yeah so as you can see it's very really choppy uh, especially the open so you went up, came down, went up, thinking this seems like a nice staircase up, but it came down. So here still looks bullish and went down. So basically this traps bull and bears at the same time. That's how choppy it is. Look at all this like two weeks. So yeah, I added here thinking this could be a wedge. Um, if you look at the 5 minute it, it looks pretty nice however it's still a downtrend so i added pretty small here but i'll stop out here yeah basically if let's say i zoom in even more you see this it's really really hard to trade it's really choppy pretty hard to predict there isn't much follow through yeah so lastly <clears throat> Yeah, Me Manu, as in Manchester United, there was some news as you can see. Uh, apparently this hit the scanner at this area, so I was holding it. Uh, when it hit the scanner, then as it's going up, I did not did not sell it immediately because I was thinking like, hey, maybe a lot of people still haven't got the news yet. So it went up. I thought this came down to consolidate the go again since this seems like a pretty good news. However, I went to Google. By the time this need this news hit the scanner, it was actually one hour ago when all the sports news came out. Hence, this seems like some front loading, but it's not front loading. It's more like those that read the sports news already got the news, and when it hits, let's say, uh, trade ideas, the scanner it's already been almost an hour so this should be the full pot but yeah i missed a 50 cent more pretty awful so basically i got stop out here the astr yeah they are gonna launch so if let's say the launch was a success 
we could see this squeeze in the after hour. So, so far it seems pretty nice. Maybe this could be a good ad over here. However, I'm up $100 plus. I don't want to give away my gains. So, I'm stopping for the week and I don't want to hold too much stuff over the weekend. Maybe this will still be on watch. TKT, this is probably where I lost all my money, I guess. Actually, it's pretty odd here. So, I added pretty small here. Just a lottery buy. And so the first pop. However, came down and sold here. Then thinking this could be break, the one the candle to break the downtrend, which it did. And it's a fake out, so I got stop out right at the bottom. Same thing added here again. Thinking this could be a curl of the V wap and, and got fake out again. So I think T TKT was my biggest loser today. Seems like there's a lot of short a short momentum. Like whenever it's trying to break, shut down, break, shut down. It's pretty brutal. I think I was tempted to try a lot after that. Yeah, eventually I tried again here for it to break. Like 5 minutes it looks nice, you can see. However, it's just TKT. So even the level 2 action looked very different. Uh, there was a big buyer around 36,000. However, it filled a little and just disappeared. So I immediately sold off. And yeah, it's pretty disgusting. So I guess TKT was my biggest loser, and the one reason that that it seems like I have a lot of green. However, I probably came in too huge on TKT and took a big L on it. Other than that, my swings AMS pretty nice. Hopefully back to three. The rest of it nothing much. So pretty eventful Friday, I'll say. Lots of things going on at the same time. Lots of things moving, but not moving at the same time. Uh, if you get what I mean, like basically, there's volatility, but there is, I don't know, but you can make money, but it's very, very risky. So, unless you're risking a lot, it's not that wise to trade. It's pretty hard. There isn't any A quality set up. Um, yeah. I said BBIG when 360 came out the news, A460 came out the news that there's no more shots, so this should be a safe buy, but I guess I was totally on it. Um, theme of the day, since if the market is grinding so much, maybe I should not play it so tight, but at the same time, there's a lot of knives, so if I don't play it tight, let's say I got in here and I choose not to sell here, then it came back down, and Basically, it's hard to predict, so I'm happy with how I traded today. And it's the weekend, so I'll just take my mind off it. Hundred dollar plus win, I'll just take it. It's better than a red day. Um, spike trading probably four hours way past my trading time. Overall, day is still pretty good. Green day is green day, and yeah, that's all for today's recap. Um, uh, have a blessed weekend. Hopefully, you guys had more gains. Um, I think there's quite a lot of runners today. If let's say you, you are more patient, like SPRT, NURO, BBIG, and MMAT, these four, these high shots, um, most of them are really nice grinders. So yeah, that's all for today's recap. Um, see you guys first thing in the morning on Monday. Have a great weekend as usual. Stay safe and trade safe. Peace.